You take your dog for three walks, jog to Mars and back with a detour for coffee, and it's still not enough. You put on a headlamp and run to your favorite grocery store at 1 a.m. Finally, around halfway there, your smartwatch rewards you with a confetti shower. You have reached your 10,000 steps daily goal. Whew! Turns out that number isn't the product of many years of research, but of a marketing campaign arranged before the 1964 Tokyo Summer Olympics. A clock company was selling a pedometer the name of which translated into 10,000 steps meter. They probably chose that number because when you write it in Japanese, it looks like a walking person. An average person takes about 3,000 to 6,000 steps a day. Add 30 minutes of exercise, that equals to an extra 3,000 steps. You've almost reached that 10,000 goal. If you can't do it for health or other reasons, and it happens all the time, it could put you down emotionally. If you're fit enough to do more, seeing the indicator at 10,000 could discourage you from going further. So don't care about that made-up number that much. Since everyone is different and has their own lifestyle, 10,000 steps could be more than enough for you to stay healthy and not nearly enough for your best friend. The most recent research from Harvard Medical School has shown that women who walked around 4,500 steps daily lived longer. The more steps they made, the better it was for their health, but it leveled off at around 7,500 steps a day. Health experts recommend adults get at least 150 minutes of moderate-intensity physical activity per week, like brisk walking or swimming, or 75 minutes of vigorous activity, like running or dance cardio class. Walking should be part of that activity, but not the only type. Diversity will be more beneficial for your health than walking with no joy trying to get to the 10,000 steps mark. Now, be sure you don't spend too much time sitting. People who sit 13 hours a day or longer get zero benefits from one hour of any exercise. Their overall activity level is just too low. So, if you have a sedentary lifestyle, you need more than 10,000 steps daily to make up for it somehow. You really don't need 10 hours of sleep every day. Everyone is different, and you could need more or less than that depending on your individual circadian rhythm. It's your 24-hour internal clock that can be hours off from someone else's. 7 to 9 hours of sleep a day is the recommended amount, but you should try to get as much as you need to feel healthy. Don't overdo it, though. The best time to apply deodorant isn't in the morning, so now they tell me. You'd be better off to put it on clean and dry skin after an evening shower. This way, it'll have enough time to settle in while you're sleeping. The aluminum compounds in it will clog your sweat glands, so it won't fade away even when you shower the next morning. Eating eggs won't do your heart any harm. Yolks do contain cholesterol, but one egg a day isn't dangerous. Plus, they are rich in nutrients, like omega-3s, that lower the risk of heart disease. It's the mix of fats from other foods you eat that you should watch out for to stay healthy. Cold weather alone can't give you a cold. It can even boost your immune system. When temperatures drop, you're more likely to stay indoors where germs spread easier. Plus, most people lack sunlight and vitamin D, which helps you stay healthy. Pulling one gray hair won't make two or more hairs grow in its place. Every follicle can only grow one hair in it. The hairs around it won't turn white until their cells stop producing pigment. If you want to get rid of gray hair, carefully use scissors on it. Plucking can be too much trauma for your follicles. You don't really have to eat breakfast to lose weight. If you like it, it can help you beat off hunger and resist unhealthy snacks throughout the day, and you'll lose weight. If you can't stand eating a big meal in the morning, skip it. It won't make you overeat at lunch or dinner. If you don't cover a toilet seat, it won't make you sick right away. Most germs can't survive on its cold, solid surface anyway. It's the bathroom doors and door handles that you better contact through a paper towel. Cracking your knuckles won't give you arthritis. The creaking, cracking, and popping sounds you hear is a gas bubble that forms between the bones in the fluid that cushions your joints. So keep on cracking them as long as you don't feel any pain. Eating six meals a day won't help you lose weight. It can even make you want to crave more food and get more calories than you need. If you don't have time to prepare some healthy snacks or can't control your portion sizes, sticking to a three-meal plan will be better for you. Working out before bedtime doesn't ruin sleep. 
a moderate intensity training at least one hour before bed won't affect your sleep quality or duration. It does increase your body temperature and heart rate, but those changes are minimal. Gentle yoga, stretching, and steady-state aerobic exercise can even help you fall asleep faster and sleep better. Natural sunlight isn't a safer alternative to tanning beds. Both of them emit UV rays that damage your skin and cause its premature aging and more serious conditions. If you want to look tan and stay safe, go for one of the sunless tanning products. You don't need any diets, juices, or treatments to cleanse or detox your body. It's capable of getting rid of harmful substances on its own. The best way to help it is to take good care of your liver and kidneys that work like filters in your system. To do it, avoid processed and packaged foods, limit sugary and fatty foods, and drink plenty of water. Make your life brighter and get a bright side tea. Pick your own print, just follow the link below. There's nothing magical about 6 p.m. when it comes to weight loss. Your body doesn't care what time it is, but it cares what you're eating. You're more likely to snack on junk food that's crazy full of calories in the evening. Don't starve yourself before bed. Get a small protein snack or some whole grains to keep your metabolism going. Natural sweeteners aren't any better, if not worse, than regular sugar. Brown sugar, honey, maple syrup, and agave nectar have plenty of empty calories and barely any nutrients in them. That's why you should watch your sugar intake in any of its forms. Carrots won't give you any superpowers like night vision. You get a good amount of vitamin A from them. It helps the eye convert light into a signal that goes into your brain. You need to consume vitamin A with fat so it can work fully. So, carrots help maintain eyesight, but they can't improve vision. Still, you never see rabbits wearing glasses. Canned foods do have nutritional value. They can be a good sub for fresh fruits and vegetables off-season. They're made of peak-season produce that's canned within hours. They normally have no more than 1% sodium and 2% added sugars, and it's in within safe amounts. Even culinary pros use canned foods when cooking. Your hair can't get too used to a shampoo you've been using for a while. If it stops giving you the results it once did, it could be the condition of your hair or your health and hormone levels that has changed. It also happens when the weather goes from hot and dry to cold and damp and vice versa. If you're traveling, you can blame a different quality of water, too. Coffee doesn't cause osteoporosis and can't really stun anyone's growth. Your genes determine how tall you'll grow. Coffee doesn't link to any other scary medical conditions either. It only temporarily increases your blood pressure a little. Shaving your hair doesn't make it grow faster or thicker. It makes its tips more blunt. When it grows back, it feels coarser and seems darker or thicker. That's why it becomes more noticeable. You gain weight after 40 because your metabolism slows down. Your metabolism actually gets slower even after 30, but that change of rate is minimal. People tend to gain weight as they grow older because they generally get less and less active. If you eat healthy food and work out regularly, your hormone balance and metabolism will be okay. Eating sugar doesn't actually cause diabetes. When you're eating carbs, including sugary foods and starches, you digest them into glucose. It's the main energy source. Insulin lowers glucose level and helps it travel into the cells. Problems with your immune system or pancreas cause diabetes and not sugar. The best way to prevent it is to watch your weight and avoid too much fatty food. You don't have to clean your ears with cotton swabs. They only push the earwax deeper and deeper down the ear canal. When it gets too deep, there's no way to get it out of the ear. Cotton swabs can also puncture your eardrums and cause hearing loss. Remember, you don't need to remove earwax manually because you have a natural cleaning system in the ear canal. Hear that? 